what's going on? It's Mitch from We in Tennessee. And I get asked a lot, Mitch, why East Tennessee? Um, and it's for personal reasons. And then there's also just reasons where I think a lot of people might relate to. So here we go. Number one, we chose East Tennessee because the Smokies. Um, I mean, when from California, we were just mountain folks. We just love the mountain, the snow, just, I don't know, the serenity, just God's creation there. And so when we looked at the map of Tennessee, obviously we were drawn to the eastern part just because that's where the Smokies are. Um, they're just absolutely amazing, gorgeous um, in every season. Um, and we just love nature and we love everything that it just brings to our soul. And so when we had visited before, when we went to my wife's uh, parents folks, we had just been so just captured by the Smokies. Um, we had definitely wanted to be in East Tennessee before we had gone there. And then definitely after visiting the Smokies, we're like, that just seals it for us. You know, we just um, loved Cades Cove. We just loved the water. I mean, not that you can't find water anywhere else in Tennessee, but just the rivers and just, I don't know, it just did something to us that we're like, this is where we want to be. Um, the second reason what would be a more practical reason, our daughters um, were at the college age. And so we definitely wanted to be near UT. Um, and definitely, you know, as far as being a sports minded person here, I just wanted to be you know, somewhere where we could root for the Vols and not that you can't root for other teams, but I just didn't have that connection to the Grizzlies and the connection to the Titans. But I just love college um, sports just because, I don't know, over the years, it just, it seems like it's just been tainted by a, a lot of money and a lot of just, I don't know, I don't know if you guys would agree with me on this one, but just you know, the flamboyancy of professional sports. And I'm not saying that about every person and every sport, but it just got to the point where I like the college atmosphere where, and even now it's creeping in, the money is starting to creep in, but it just felt to me more raw and more, hey, I want to win because I want to win and not because of money or fame or anything else. But and then, you know, just being close enough to be to UT if our daughters decided to go there. Um, and so just that part of the um, East Tennessee drew us there, too. And also, um, when you're looking at the map, we also just didn't want to be in the middle because of my wife's parents. They live in Western Virginia, and we wanted to be close enough to be here in Tennessee, but also to visit them. If we lived in like in the Nashville area, it would just be a considerable drive and it would almost defeat the purpose of coming here because we wanted to be close enough to visit them, but also not have this long, arduous journey to get there and then to come back. We wanted to be close. And at the moment, you know, we're five hours away, which you know, still might seem like a lot, but we can make it there in a day, you know, or even half the day. Whereas we lived in Nashville, it would take us the entire day. So vicinity wise, we just wanted to be close enough that we could, you know, in a half a day be there. And then East Tennessee, um, it just felt to us more rural and not that you can't find rural places in middle or Western Tennessee, but here, it just felt like this was more, if you took out a look at the state, um, just where we wanted to be with all of the history. And there's history all over the state. But as far as East Tennessee, we wanted to be, um, you know, history wise, we wanted to be just in the middle of everything. Like we can go to Civil War battlefields in Georgia here and I, I know there's a lot of places near Memphis to visit, but just the feeling here, I, I can't even explain it. And not that I've been everywhere in Tennessee, but those of you that are here in East Tennessee, I think you know what I mean, where you just have that feeling of the rural 
um, country Appalachia, just, you know, that feeling of being here in this place. Whereas we didn't want to be necessarily in Nashville and, and, and feel of, I don't know. I, I hope I'm not sending the wrong vibe, but when we passed through those places, it just felt like it was more, um, I don't know. It just felt like it's more urban, more city, more, you know, and I'm, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm reaching the right buttons here, but it just felt like we wanted to be farther away from a lot of the, the bright lights and be, you know, closer to the Eastern part where it just felt more country, more quiet, more, ah, uh, you know, and getting away from a lot of the crowd and, glitz and glamour part of the, of the Nashville. And I'm sure if you go farther out in the outskirts, you, you can get away from that in the Nashville area. But here it just feels right. And I'm sorry if I went off on a tangent on there. Uh, but those of you I think can see me, know what I'm talking about, or see the area. And so this place is just definitely grown on us. Um, you know, we can just go to all of these neighboring states, Kentucky, Georgia, uh, Virginia, and be there in a heartbeat. And that's what I love about being in this place. You know, when we had gone to um, Georgia or the Chattanooga area, there was that lookout. And I, I kind of scratched my head like the seven state lookout. I'm like, there's no way you can see seven states from one given point. And I know now that they're just talking like, you know, you can see where these, these states would be if you look far enough. And I know the earth is curved and you're not going to be able to see all those places. But that was just a neat thing to me in my mind going, wow, in California, man, every state seemed really far away. But here in Tennessee, you can get to so many states so quick. And especially here in East Tennessee, you can get to those places you know, really quick. And that, that's what we love about this area. And then, you know, you can argue everywhere, but here in East Tennessee, the people just are so amazing. And I'm going to tick somebody off somewhere in Tennessee about that. But here it's just the feeling of neighborly country. What do you need? I'll take care of that for you. And it, it just feels like home already. And, um, I can't even explain it. It's just so hard to tell you how at home we feel here in East Tennessee. And the people are the best part. I mean, the Smokies are awesome. The people are even more awesome. So today, that's just kind of how, you know, when people ask me why East Tennessee, that's what I tell them. And it's, it's already rehearsed because I say it so many times. And East Tennessee, I love you. Let's keep this thing rolling. Um, I hope to just be the person that I can do my part to make this place even better, more community, more love. And it's just, that's this is a place for me. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And sorry if I just rambled on, but if you guys get what I'm talking about uh, as far as East Tennessee, um, it's just amazing. So I, I appreciate you guys hitting that like button, that subscribe button. If you have enjoyed anything that you guys have seen, I appreciate you guys for coming along and I'll see you in my next video.